so final video for this week is video number three and it's dilations on the coordinate plane. So the first thing that I want to do is go over workbook 14 page 8. Again, you don't have, you don't need a workbook, you don't have to turn anything in. If you have it and you want to follow along, sure. Um, I think that is very interesting the way they present dilations on not a coordinate plane but this grid and then they transfer that into the a coordinate plane. Um, the first thing that it says in here is find the lengths of the sides of each triangle. Now, um, if you notice, this is a right triangle, so we could use the Pythagorean theorem to find EG. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to find the horizontal and vertical ones because there is value on practicing the Pythagorean theorem, but that's not my objective today. Um, if I look at um, this section in here, the segment EF, what is the length of EF? two units. What is the length of E prime if prime? Just count one, two, three, four, five, six, six units. What is the length of the segment FG? One, two, three. And what is the length of segment F prime G prime? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? Very interesting. At this point, if you are really good with numbers and you have some number sense, you might realize what's happening with the figures. First thing that I want you to pay attention to is that we have a E and then E prime, F, F prime. So the figure went from this figure, the shaded figure, to the non-shaded figure. And then we have that this length, E, F, was 2 before, and E prime, F prime, now is 6. That means that something happened to the figure that changed those distances to blank times the original value. Um, explain why the triangles are not congruent. So remember what congruency means. Same shape, same size. So if I look at these two triangles, it would be very weird if I say, yeah, they are the same size. They are pretty obvious different. So the, it is the same triangle. Um, this in here is 90 degrees and then here we have 90 degrees. This angle in here is the same thing, uh, the same value as this angle that we have in here. And then the angle E measures the same thing as measure of the measurement of angle E prime. Let me just use the right notation here. Okay. Um, but they are not the same size. So I cannot say they are congruent. What they are called, we're going to be learning on week four. For now, just know that they are not congruent. So if we go here, it says, are corresponding angles con uh, congruent? Yes, they are. Okay? As a matter of fact, when you have a dilation, angles are preserved, which means they are they stay the same. Okay, even though the size is changed, the angles stay the same. And we can see that pretty easily when we have a square. If you have a square and you make the square bigger, we still have 90 degrees in each one of those vertices. Um, what is the relationship between corresponding size? Uh, let's look at this. This segment was two. And now it's six. What can I do? And remember that we're multiplying because the scale factor is a number that multiplies a value. If I have two and that two became a six, what can I do to two that I get a six? You multiply by three, perfect. And then what do you do to three? So it becomes a nine. We also multiply by three. That means that what is the relationship between these sides? We are making the sides three times bigger. So that's our scale factor. We, we have an enlargement with a scale factor of three. Um, then says draw lines between corresponding vertices in the triangles. Extend the lines so they intersect each other. And what do you know about the point of intersection? Um, from the previous video, we know that that point of intersection is your center of dilation. So let's quickly connect E with E prime. Okay, and let's connect F with F prime, and then G with G prime. Okay, that's going to be my center of dilation. Okay, now that we know that, we're going to move on to the next problem, which he is actually on a coordinate plane, and the first thing that I'm going to do in here is that I'm going to use labels, okay? Um, I'm going to label my X and Y axis first. This is going to be x and y. 
Second thing that I'm going to do is um, use a ruler to draw lines through t, t prime, r, r prime, y, y prime. What's t, r, and y? So let's do that next. Um, in the problem that I gave you on your uh, assignment for the week, um, you do have the labels already on the figure, so you, you don't have to do this step. So let's say this is t. R, Y, you know, T prime, R prime, Y prime, R, and Y. Let's do a reduction in here. And it says, use a ruler to draw lines to, through T, T prime, R, R prime. We don't have a ruler. You have the tools on your Google Sheets, Google Slides. Um, so let's connect these points in here and see what we get. Okay, they are connecting in the origin. So it says point C is the center point of dilation. Draw an x-axis and y-axis. They are already given, so we don't have to do the section. What are the coordinates of the vertices in the original figure and in the image that is unshaded? Um, let's see here. So this is my original figure. And it's shaded. Let's see. For T, T is 0.4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So T is a 0.48. R, it's going to be the 0.5678.88. And point Y, it's going to be 8, 2. T prime, it's going to be the point 2, positive 4. R prime is going to be the point 4, 4. And then Y prime is going to be 4, 1. Um, describe a relationship between the coordinates in the original figure and the coordinates in the image. What happened to 4? Now we have a 2. We had an 8 and now we have a 4. Notice that these values are being cut in half. We are dividing by 2. A goes to 4. A goes to 4. So we can say in here that we have a scale factor. And remember that the scale factor always multiplies. So you cannot say you are dividing by 2. You are multiplying by half. Or you can say that you are multiplying by 0.5. Okay, so just be careful. Those are the two things that we're doing in here, multiplying by 0.5 or multiplying by one half. Um, one thing that I want to do in here is uh, use the symbols to describe how the original figure maps to its image. Remember, we took each one of these values and we multiplied them by half. So you can write half of x and half of y. Or you can also write 0.5x comma 0.5y. Both of them are correct and it means that you have a reduction and you're cutting that shape half of its original size. Okay, and that's it. Now, if we go to the assignment that you have to do, remember if it is in yellow, that means that you have to do it. Um, Use a ruler. You don't have rulers, but you have this tool. Make the lines that you need to do. Um, write in here what this is. Every time you see a blue box, that means that you need to fill it in. And notice that it's the same problem that I just did. Like it's very similar, but the, the, the questions are the same. So you're going to write the coordinates in here is 5, um, 10. Okay, 5, 10. Um, you're going to write in here what's happening with the figure and you're going to try to write in here the new notation. How does it map? How can we write it correctly? Okay, and that's all you have to do. Let me fix this in here quickly. And that's it. If you feel like you need more help, there are a few links in here with extra resources. 
um, if you like reading more than watching a video, you can go to this file in here called what, what are the relations. This is a practice on coordinate plane that it will give you automatic feedback if you want to make sure that you're understanding this. Remember that there will be an assessment in two weeks. You can dilate, uh, this is a Khan Academy practice where you can dilate uh, triangles. So in this case, it, it says um, under a dilation whose center is A and the scale factor is 4. So this is the center. I'm making this 4 times bigger, so now it's going to be 8. If I'm making this 4 times bigger, it was 3, has to be 12 now. And this is 4 times 3.6. Check the figure. That's it. Um, and also, if you feel like, oh, I don't understand how to find the center of dilation, there is another Khan Academy practice where you have to find the center of dilation. You have the tools in here, and you're going to make lines. So if this is corresponding with this, and this one with this, so this point in here will be my center of dilation. Um, these are optional. You don't have to do them. But if you feel like you need extra practice, um, go ahead and information about your tutoring hours. That's it.